Good morning, let's talk economics. All right, inflation, you've all heard this word and you've all heard it thrown around quite a bit. Now, let's talk about how does that actually impact the housing market, our economy, and what it's actually doing. So, inflation is caused by supply and demand, where demand outweighs supply. So, if you look back in the 80s, what happened? Interest rates skyrocketed. Why? Well, because, again, supply was not meeting demand. So the interest rates rose to slow down inflation, meaning making things more expensive to reduce the likelihood of consumers buying those items. Well, how did that happen? What happened is, is that our industrial side could not keep up manufacturing to keep supply chains going at the rate in which consumers wanted to buy them. Is that the case today? No, it's not. We have a very unique, different, new problem that has arised. This is due to the fact that the pandemic has shut down manufacturing in different places all over the world on a pretty consistent basis, off and on in different places, throughout the entire global economy. And we are all tied together at this point. So what that looks like is, we don't have enough stuff to maintain our supply chain. Now, the biggest difference between this time and the 80s when inflation was running rampant is that we are not at max capacity. If everywhere in the globe manufacturing turned back on full speed, our supply chain issues would subside. Is that gonna happen? Don't know. But in the meantime, the United States government has taken the position that they must slow down inflation, and they will, and they have to, because it is going to continue to rise. So what they do is they raise the interest rate, the Federal Reserve interest rate. Does that directly impact the housing loan market? The answer is yes and no. So what it quickly impacts is your credit cards, if you have a line of credit on your house, that kind of stuff. The home lending market is based on bonds. So we're gonna talk more about that in a video coming up. Now, on the flip side, inflation, let's get back to that very quickly. This means we are in uncharted territory and that remains to see how that is all gonna play out just because we do have capacity to fix the supply chain issues globally. But given what is happening right now, it's not going to be fixed overnight. And when they did it release the most recent inflation rates, they were higher than predicted. And that is what caused the domino of the stock market going wild. Now, how does that predict, how does that impact our real estate market today? Here is a snapshot of numbers and we will get to, hey, what does this mean tying up with interest rates connected um, tomorrow. All right, so in the last 24 hours, it was so interesting, we had 14 expired listings. I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but in 24 hours in the current market, that is, a, that is a, an increase in the last week. Now, here's what else is interesting, is we are at 1.1 month supply of inventory, meaning if no houses came on the market, in a month and a week, everything would be sold. So is that still a seller's market? Absolutely. Yet we were seeing, as of a month ago, about a 0.6 across the board. Now certain neighborhoods, areas, cities were actually a little less than that, but now overall we're at a 1.1 month supply of inventory. That is a 22% increase across the board and then if you look more specifically at Forsyth, Gwinnett County, Johns Creek, Alpharetta, North Metro area, we are looking at Gwinnett County having an increase of 71% supply increase and Forsyth County having a 42% increase in supply. This is a great thing. Does it mean that there are just bukus of houses and no offers going on? No, that's not what it means. But it means that buyers that had 
sideline themselves because of competing on 50 offers to 80 offers at a time, now is the time to get back in this. You need to go back to the lenders and talk about interest rates because they have gone up. So if you were pre-approved at three and a half, four percent 4%, you need to re-look at that. But what we're seeing is a loosening of the market. This is a good thing. What people have been asking for, because you cannot have high demand, high supply, and low competition all at the same time. That's not a thing. So what we need is for that to, the, the high demand, low supply, and high competition, the only way for that to be pulled back is through this. And that's gonna to continue to show up as we navigate this market. So stay tuned, what does this mean? We're gonna talk about this every day. As things shift and change, and we're in a changing market right now, it is imperative that you're staying current daily. So we'll take a look at some numbers again tomorrow. Have a great rest of the day.